Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Easy Tech 231 here, back again with another review video. Yeah, I just posted one and now I'm back again with another one. I probably should have filmed that one like I am this one too. That one actually looked kind of ugly, but that's besides the point. So in today's video, we're gonna be checking out an application called The Cleaner. Now in my last video that I posted, I reviewed an application called Battery Time. And this one is actually made by these same developers. So we can pretty much expect the same performance and the same looks in this application. And there we go. So what this application does is it helps you clean out your device, help it run smoothly and just clean out all the junk and unnecessary files that you may or may not have in your device. Uh, so this is really, really nice here. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got going on here. So taking a look at the application, you can tell that it has a really nice clean user interface, super simple, nothing too crazy, some nice animations there. So we have three sections here. We've got the memory section, the storage section, and then we have the application section. So we're gonna start out with the memory one here. And uh, basically what we have here, we can tap here to analyze, and it's gonna tell us what applications are taking up most of our memory. Not necessarily our storage, but our processing power. So these applications here are kind of hogging up the memory here, so I can actually clean these out so I can have more processing power for other things. So I actually just did this just a couple of minutes ago, and it'll actually tell you that up here. Actually, it'll tell you down here. I didn't really tap on it. Uh, yes, I am enjoying the cleaner. I'll do that in a bit. <laughs> so let's go ahead and check this out. You can see about six minutes ago, I did the same thing. And before I cleaned up 389 megabytes of memory. And just now I did 376. So that's pretty cool. So now everything is optimized. We can go over here to the storage section. I also did this a couple of seconds ago, a couple of minutes ago, about four minutes ago there. And uh, I'm probably not going to have anything to clean out really. Maybe some application cache. There we go. 96 kilobytes of cache. Um, so basically it just goes through the application cache and maybe if you haven't done this, you know, in maybe like a week or so, you'd have a lot more than this to uninstall. So right now, or, or just clean up, not uninstall. So basically I can just delete this cache here and it won't affect any of your files or anything like that. So don't worry. But what's also really cool about this is that you can also delete stuff like um, your downloads and stuff. If you saw it before, if I were to do that again, all right, this is what I was talking about. You can actually delete folders within your downloads folder, which is really nice. So that's kind of cool. That's a nice add on to the storage section. Um, and last but not least, we've got the application manager here. This is a lot better than the built in application manager. And basically what it allows you to do is it allows you to delete multiple applications at once. So if you remember in the regular manager, you can only delete one at a time and you have to tap on it then you have to press install. You have to wait for it. And this one, you can delete a lot of them or all of them if you wanted to at the same time and they're all sorted out very nicely so our first three sections here we've got install dates so these are the ones that i've installed most recently so i can uninstall all of these ones if i wanted to at the same time so that is nice not gonna uninstall those right now then you also have it in alphabetical order which is nice you also have them uh, sorted out by which ones take up the most storage. <laughs> so as you can see, Facebook takes the cake there. And you also have different filters. So you can check out all of the applications that have your contacts permissions, for example. So that's pretty cool. Same one, all of the ones that have camera permissions and stuff like that. So it sorts everything out really nicely, nice and clean and super simple, really easy to use. Um, so that's pretty much it. I'll go ahead and take a look at this last tab here and you can check out some of the notifications here. You can have it auto scan your memory, maybe every day or every two or six hours or something like that every week, which is really nice. And then you can also have it suggest to you idle applications to uninstall. So I know a lot of you guys out there, including myself, have those, you know, just a couple of applications that we're not really using, but they're still there. This application will, you know, scan it and say, oh, well, you haven't used this application in a while. Why don't you uninstall it? So that's pretty cool. You can set that to be every week, which is a good time. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. So that's pretty cool. And then you've just got your basic stuff down here. So that's pretty much all of the application, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. This is pretty cool. Definitely download this application. It's in the description below. And uh, after you do that, make sure you go ahead and check out Battery Time if you haven't already. It's an also a really cool application. So that does it for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the application. If you did, yeah, follow me on Twitter. <laughs> go ahead and follow me on Twitter. But if you did enjoy the video, go ahead and hit that like button, comment your thoughts on the cleaner application. Um, I would definitely like to hear your feedback. Uh, so that does it for me, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. That was good. That was good.